Hello everyone, this is Vikings Wolf of Midgard and we're back and yes, this is us for those new to the series and the episodes This is actually us, sorta A witch gave us a gift, like it or not, as she put it And uh, well, he kind of made us pretty and all that, you know <laughs> We're slow uh, We uh, we kind of um, pack a lot of punch, like a lot of punch, about 5k damage or 400, I don't know for sure though. But doesn't matter anyways. This is an archer, this is bad. Because we, he's like uh, range, we can't really reach them apparently. And oh, they're gonna come from me. Yeah, we'll destroy that. We got the green thing. Oh, we can't get the green thing. Oh my god. That's just. That's just bad. We can do this. Two things. And we also have another skill which pretty much kills everything in nearby. Oh, it's an Imperial Elite. How much health do they have? Like 400? That's not that much, if you ask me. Kind of wanted to get the crew, but apparently it's not going to be a thing. Yes, it does this. It's con Oh, this time we actually reached it. Oh, well, I'm actually getting... Whoa! <laughs> We got all the crows. That that's something. Usually the crows are a pestilence because they're quite fast. You can't really get them, and they're just annoying. They do a bit of damage that much. You don't even care. We regenerate a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I mean we don't even need to heal or anything. Not that we could, anyways. We only can pick from the ground uh, iron, wood, and well, that'd be about it. Oh, come on, eh, but again, the crow is just annoying. Did we've seen this part? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. There we go. We can, we, we can and we must destroy this, just in case we're going to get some materials. So, everything we actually bring down, uh, like item-wise. Okay, that tree seems to want to stay. Doesn't want to go down or anything. Item-wise, uh, we can't really pick anything from the ground. That's terrible. And we can't really go uh, out of this form at free will, either. We kind of need to, I guess, respect his wishes or something. I don't know seems to be an and that's not an archer that's the good part of it I suppose is he gonna come for us doesn't seem so let's see did we see this part seems we did too bad or that slow actually oh there we go we didn't actually there we go two hits nothing though no materials no anything and it is a bit of gold a bit of uh, actually a lot of wood a lot of gold a soldier who wants to die, as you saw, you saw the damage, I don't need to say anything, I guess. It's kinda nice, I'm really enjoying it. If it would've been, like, faster, it'd've been even greater. But, who am I to, to comment, you know? There we go, a bit of wood. Have we seen this part? I kinda don't remember it, to be honest. Oh, we did, though, yeah, we did. Well, nevertheless, we're gonna go on this side. Items on the ground, we can't really pick up, those are not destructible. I, I tried, believe me, actually twice. The wood skills, too. Uh, we can't really see or know, I guess not know or see, read what the skills do. We can't access any of the... What would you call it? Actually, we've been through this part. We can't access uh, the gift... Uh, uh, wow, that's a tr troll blue... Okay, whatever, that's a bow, that's blue, whatever, doesn't matter. So we can't access the, the gift, what they call? Well, the skill... Um, can he block it? Nah, I was wondering if he could block it. So we can access the, the skill panel. So, like it or not, we're pretty much set on the way we are. Probably at the end of the map. And I'm gonna call the end of the map when we reach the boss. Everything's gonna change a bit in the sense that... Um, okay, only that was destructible. I, I get it. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to... That was nice. Wow, I even got the, the the archer too. Quite nice. I really enjoy that. There's a paladin there, but we can't reach him. I don't think he can reach us either. Apparently this is sort of a dead end. I don't like that though. Because that's going to mean that we need to move a lot. And this guy's slow. Wow, that was not destructible. Usually those are. This is dope. Nothing dropped. 
Actually, this is uh, most of it. Is uh, my own guys? Um, I guess machinery here. I'm kind of destroying it, but since I get materials from it, I'm not gonna care. And nothing. Okay, I kind of get it. So that's about it. This on this part, like it or not, is the other way we have to go. So there's gonna be a bit of backtracking with this hunk of flesh over here, which is quite slow. Which is weird, is we're looking like male and we were female, but I guess that witch didn't thought about that when we when she changed us. We actually even fought this form before. Uh, it was uh, sort of a, I guess a champion of, uh, of the city, of the, of the town, and the witch transformed, in, transformed him into this and we had to fight him. Uh, it was a decent fight. Didn't do too many skills, I guess he only has these two skills that we know. I kind of missed there. Haha, if you follow the crow with your cursor, apparently the, the, the character is also going to... There we go, we got this. Let's get those. Yeah, I actually missed. Not that time. It's a lot of them. Here we go. Can we... Oh, he is actually that shielded. Well, take this for your shield then. Now the archer you can't really reach from... Uh, he's just going to swing that for the archer, although he can't really reach it. That's kind of annoying. He's just going to stay in one place and... Well, he's not going to do anything. Still not destructible. Apparently all the barrels around here are not destructible. Oh, but this is. I would have really missed this thing. Here we go. There's a bit of uh, materials there. We also only have like uh, three more to find and only two more priests and we are going to complete the entire uh, challenge. The other quest, the main quest is to, I guess, uh, crush the invaders and all that. What's that? That's a shield, okay. Have we been through here? No, apparently not. This is uh, not a supply crate. With this, we're gonna only going to need to find two more. Quite nice. I would have missed this, to be honest. I would, have, I would have just not come this way. I wouldn't have seen the point. Nothing there, apparently. Or can we access that? I don't think so. Oh, apparently not. That looked to me like a chest, but apparently it's not. What if it is? We're not supposed to go and loot it. And I already know we've been through here, so... I'm gonna go back and continue onwards through this, uh, I guess, reinforced wall or something. Palisade, whatever. Actually, it's not a palisade. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go into the fort now. We're trying to get here for a while. That's done. This is done. Get this guy. Imperial Elite. We're gonna try to destroy everything we can to get all the materials. Because it's quite possible we're gonna have to uh, get out of this area without completing the main quest. Actually, with completing the main quest, so everything we've dropped white item-wise, we're just gonna lose. And uh, there were a couple blue items there. I'm just gonna really be sorry about it, but I don't think I have a choice in the matter. So, like it or not, we're gonna have to do what we can. Can't really do anything about that. Oh, immune to that. Immune to this as well. There we go, no more shield, problem resolved. There's one more priest up ahead, and we should be doing just about fine. He, okay, I thought he was gonna be able to summon his shield, but he was not. Which is quite awesome for us. Let's destroy everything and get all the materials. Uh, okay, something was destructible there. That's a normal item. Not impressed. Let's do this from afar. Okay, there's wood, so we're gonna go for it. Poor things. They don't even know what they're getting themselves into. I mean, look at this thing. How would you go in to fit this? Okay, we're destroying something there, something here. You know, like plucking flowers from the ground, or sort of. Another bow. But actually, a tomite bow. I don't care about that. I care that it's blue. Even if I don't use it, imagine what we could, uh, how much materials we could get from it. So that's a bit of a problem for me. If this is uh, not going to permit me to get the material, uh, the items from the ground, I'm really going to be annoyed. 
to be fair, I may even do this episode. Uh, we haven't been through here, so I kind of have to go. Like it or not. Not that way, apparently on this pathway. Um, oh, we've completed the priest, by the way. I don't know why they actually gave us, because I was not paying attention. It seems to be have to have been a waste of time to come, come up here on the palisade. That is sort of a palisade. Um, if we're going to get changed back, and we're going to have the possibility to come back and loot everything around, I will take it. I'm probably going to do it off camera, depending on how much time we have. Then again, who knows uh, the boss fight, how much it's going to, uh, to take. If this is going to be the form in which... Uh, I'm gonna have to fight the boss. It will be a problem. There we go. We got the thousand wood by getting all the supply crates. And the boss is just up ahead. Hopefully I'm gonna get changed back, if you ask me. Because this is not easy to, to, to fight in this form. You can't evade. You barely can move. If we're gonna have a ranged boss, I'm in deep shit. And I'm just gonna say it directly, to be honest. Why is that? Well, it's quite simple. He tends to not hit the, uh, the the mob itself, just swing for him. And because it's too far away, he can't really reach it. And well, that's that. And apparently, we're kind of screwed in the sense of uh, loot-wise. Because this is it. If we're going to get change back in our form inside the arena, and when we're going to find the boss, fight the boss, it's pretty much the same goddamn thing. Um... We're, not, we're gonna defeat the boss because you're not gonna be able to get out of the arena and everything we've dropped so far is going to be lost. All I can say is, oh my god, there were some blue items there. Uh, you gotta love and hate this game. <laughs> uh, then again, grief always uh, make you remember stuff, so we're just gonna continue onwards. We don't really have a choice anyways with the matter. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get changed back, you know. Really? This is how you come to battle me. Honestly, I don't know why they bother sending an army with me. <laughs> the... Usually they continue by themselves. Oh, shoot. Don't tell me this is blocked and would have to play all over again everything. This is... Oh, my God. This game really needs some polish. I mean... <clears throat> This will be the second time a boss is blocked. It happened to the first one we encountered, the Jokul or whatever spirit it was. And that one was even worse than this one. Because, I mean, this one just uh, says it directly, you know. Uh, I'm just not going to talk with you anymore. And that's that. You know, you're going to have to start from the last save point. But the first boss, we actually forced us to fight him, defeat him. And upon defeat, the battle just move on, continue. Although there was no more mobs, no more anything to destroy. It was kind of weird. It took me a while to figure things out. No? Huh? Really? Usually they just continue by themselves. You don't need to click anything. I don't even know how to go about this. I guess we're gonna um, end here for now. Replay all everything, probably. And then try to continue onwards with the boss fight or something. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, we're back. Uh, we kind of investigated a bit and it seems there should be a workaround uh, this little bug of ours. Basically, when you get to this uh, checkpoint, you don't go further. You just press escape. Don't go to the village, just exit to menu. That's going to save your checkpoint. And or save point and uh, in the main menu just um, main menu just go outside the game exit the game then <coughs> restart the game again and when you get to the main menu don't click continue just uh, go into the save games pick the last save which is going to be this checkpoint and just uh, enter it and it seems for some guys this actually really worked out and um, although even still fuzzy if you continuously, I guess, click a bit his dialogue really? as well as this is how you come to battle. There we go. Honestly, I don't know. State your business. Okay. I, I lead the Imperial forces by order of His Eminence the Bishop of C, Prelate of the Imperium Romana. Yeah, Romander. yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Am I supposed to know what that means? I think you mean fight me, and I'm happy to oblige. Stand clear, barbarian. 
You cannot harm me. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna light this fight. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, he has rocks upon himself. He destroyed the rocks apparently. And when he jumps on the said rocks, it seems I can't really uh, hit him anymore. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm stunned as well. And well, I'm stunned, but I'm still uh, move. Still sort of moving around. But that's sort of a two-phase thingy. You destroy the rock, uh, he pops up. Summons one of these things. Even when you're stunned, you still seem to move. So this is his last rock. Now what is he actually going to do, I wonder. Oh, I can destroy the rock now. There we go, that should be like the last of this uh, earth thingies. I don't know where he is, oh he's like all the way up over there. Try the wooden constructions, oh really? Yeah, we're gonna go for the wooden constructions? Well he's all the way down there, probably we're gonna fight like something else. No, he's not gonna summon anything. That's one construction, no idea what's... Okay, seems there was another one here, let's take the loot as well. <laughs> Since he's like here and all that. Can destroy those though, okay. So I'm kind of really happy that we bypassed everything because that was a problem. So for those that didn't really understand, uh, I guess I'm going to finish the fighting and I'm going to tell it to you again. Basically when you get to the last checkpoint, don't continue, don't go to the boss, just um, uh, get the menu up, click, uh, not click, no. uh, get to the main menu while there, don't do anything except, can I attack this? Oh I can. And he falls into the water, really? That's the fight. Uh, a truly hideous hat. Who would wear such a thing? And there's the <laughs> witch. Most amusing. Really? Made me a monster. I shall give you what the invaders sought to take by force. The Hagalaz rune. Use it wisely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hagalaz runestone. <laughs> Raki was right. I suppose I'll have to tell him about it now. <laughs> okay, and the quest seems to be done. Unfortunately, in this stage, you can't really go back as I would really go back and take all the loot I've left behind. And even the third time, I think this is actually the fourth time we actually made this map because I kind of resetted everything. And we got a lot of blue stuff on the ground. We also got some nice blue weapons as well. Probably we're not going to use them because they're not, they're not really our type. I don't know for sure though. Didn't kind of kind of manage to look in my inventory before I got transformed by this hack, this witch, into that big hunk of flesh or whatever that is. Uh, we got a new something. This is, I think is a weapon actually. This is a staff we don't use and another type of rune. But unfortunately, it's like the normal type. Okay, so the quest is done. The defeat of the Bishop of Earth would only steal the Imperium Romana's resolve to defeat the barbarians upon their neighboring shores. But his hat at least would never be recovered, <laughs> and remained in the possession of the Ulfung until their final days. Okay, so we defeated our vassals, which is quite nice. Okay, let's see now. What else? We're probably the quest is going to continue. So, uh, again. Get to the last checkpoint before the boss, don't do anything then, open up the the, the menu, uh, don't uh, go to the village, you're gonna lose all the progress, um, except what you looted of course, and uh, experience and all that. Go, okay the quest is gonna continue now, I'm gonna have to shut up. You have acquired the twain runes I see. Simul the giantess readies her army to march forth from Utgard. You must leave immediately if you wish to show her you are strong enough to be her ally. Would you like me to open the path into Utgard so you can petition Simul for aid against her sworn enemy, Grimnir? Mm, okay, before we answer, let's finish what I was saying. So, uh, again, from the top. When you get to the bishop uh, fight boss, basically, well, then does, you're not going to know that the bishop's going to come, but at least you know the map already. Uh, open up the uh, the main menu, uh, do not go to the village, just uh, uh, go for the main menu within the game. Whilst there, just exit the game and that's it. You're going to have your progress saved to the last checkpoint. Um, you don't need to, uh, actually I didn't wait uh, pretty much for nothing. I just reopened the game. Um, 
while on the main menu I did not click continue. I did that before and it seemed also to continue uh, getting me stuck within the, the conversation with the main boss, with the Bishop of Earth boss. And so don't click continue, click on saves, pick the last save which is basically going to be um, the checkpoint that I've, uh, we're talking about. Uh, enter the game, uh, enter the game, just click on the, the save to, to load and while the game is going to load you just go for the boss and well hopefully it's going to happen what happened for us this time around. <laughs> we kind of did the map four times already, we kind of grinded without even wanting it but oh well, too bad of all the items we, we lose because in the great hunk of flesh, <laughs> I don't know how that's called to be honest, uh, form you cannot loot anything except materials and gold. That's it, iron, wood and gold nothing else and oh, also the blood okay so we have two choices uh, we can go for the path um, yeah I'm not gonna go for the stealing Simul's fortress yeah um, I guess I kind of the raiding type but you don't want to man on the guards now are you let's go for the path no. directly I recovered the ancient rune solely for my amusement open the damn portal crone <laughs> not that patient am I There we go. Stones appear over nowhere. The path is prepared for you. Why, thank you. If Simul will not side with you, and the path to this future is slim indeed, then bring me the treasure she stole from Odin, that I might return it. Okay, could I guess. use Odin's favor at a time such as this. I guess she, she's we about right. We shall again, she-wolf, as the fruition of your weird grows closer. Okay, weird lady, she just appeared. We now can go through a weird portal as well. I kind of want to see what we got from uh, well, all our raiding and all that. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. What's this? This was the last legendary thingy. It's a staff. Yay. How about a one-handed legendary for once? You know? Oh well. Magic don't quite like it. I kind of know about it too. This I know about. We don't want to use it just yet. We didn't really test it out, but if I do the math, well, this is actually better. It's a two-handed, we don't care, we're not going to use this either, we know about this, it's just going to summon us a pick, which is actually a pretty tough pick to be honest, but I kind of like this damage anyways. I guess this would be better for bosses maybe, and this wouldn't, then again, this would be good for bosses as well, because it can attract uh, their attention while we destroy them. Uh, okay, that's not for me, one-handed, lower damage though, two-handed, don't care. No, nowhere near. This is two-handed by the looks of it. This is actually one-handed, but it's lower damage than what we already have. Attack speed and blood bones. Not bad, but eh, I kind of like what we have because it's like legendary. And we have that life steal, which seems to help. A bit of regenerate as, as well as a, a, an increase in health. Attack speed 10. Well, this is not something you kind of want to, I don't know, live behind. But then again, bows only, so that kind of breaks the deal. Not enough damage. Nowhere near enough damage. Mm. Yeah, I kind of almost have whatever this gives on, on my legendary belt as well. This is nowhere near good, but it's going to give us a lot. Oh, actually, that not, it's not going to give us that much materials. Just one wood and three iron, a bit of gold. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, this is stuff we don't use. We already seen this. I'm going to get a lot of stuff from this one, though. My god, look at how much things it was actually giving. Ah. I just hate to lose this one, to be honest. Oh well. That seems to be about all. Backpack didn't quite produce anything new, just uh, the, the normal stuff. We dropped a lot of this stuff, like a lot of it. Iron shards, at least 10, as I counted. About 4 or 5 of these, just this turn around. So th th just this turn uh, while we were playing. You know what, I'm not going to show you how I sell stuff, it's not worth it. Apparently it has new items as well, probably they increase with level up. Let me level up as well, so just I get, so I can uh, just set my points, you know, peacefully. Sacrifice the blood, go with more attack speed, because this seems to work for us. Level 13, there we go, two more gifts. Uh, I do wonder what we can actually pick. So let me see, we did not upgrade the altar, can we upgrade the altar? Oh, we can upgrade the altar to level 3, that's gonna help a lot. So upgrade, we have everything, do it. I'm kinda curious how it's going to transform. Ah, bigger rocks, more blood, oh my god, that's a lot of blood there. 
Can we upgrade it further? I don't think so. Doesn't seem to work like that. But by the looks of it, doesn't want to be upgraded anymore. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys and gals around next time. I'm going to set the two points uh, within the gifts, uh, I guess, of camera. I'm going to see. You're going to see it next time. And we're probably going to start from there. I'm very happy that we bypassed that bug, to be honest, because I was really afraid this was it with the storyline. I d do like the game enough to actually continue despite the bugs. Uh, I think there's a few patches that... Uh, I always block my uh, game so they don't get patched up. I think there's a few patches. Maybe some of them would have uh, repaired the bug by itself. I don't know. I guess I can read about it a bit. And I guess that's about it. So see you guys and gals around next time.